Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Henry Bird and Paul Morphy. This amazing chess game was played in London in 1858. Henry Bird had white pieces and he started with e4. Paul Morphy played e5. Knight to f3. d6. Filida defense. d4. Black to move. Paul Morphy played f5. Knight to c3. This is the most played move. f takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. And now d5. Attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Henry Bird played knight to g3. Many years later. In 1979. Garbarini found knight takes on e5 and won brilliantly the game went on like this d takes on e4 queen to h5 check g6 knight takes on g6 h takes on g6 queen takes on g6 and white went on to win the game back to our game henry bird played very logical move knight to g3 but now e4 knight to e5 Knight to f6, preventing queen to h5. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Bishop to d6. Knight to h5, pressure is on the knight on f6. Poor Morphy castled kingside. Queen to d2, intending to castle queenside. Queen to e8. g4. Morphy was waiting for this move. Knight takes on g4. Knight takes on g4, queen takes on h5, knight to e5, knight to c6, bishop to e2, attacking the queen, queen to h3, knight takes knight on c6, pawn takes knight, white would love to cast the queen side, but the pawn on f2 is falling. So bishop to e3 was played, rook to b8, and Henry Bird castled queen's side. This is now becoming very interesting. Black to move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. What did you find? Paul Morphy played this amazing move. Rook takes on f2. This looks like a kind of a crazy move, doesn't it? And it is not clear what is going on. Bird happily captured the rook. What did Morphy have in mind when he sacrificed the rook? Please pause again and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? This was the idea behind the sacrifice. Queen to a3. What a move. c3 was played. If pawn takes queen, then bishop takes pawn. Check. Mate. Wow. So we have c3, queen takes pawn on a2, b4, hoping to exchange queens, queen to a1 check, king to c2, queen to a4 check, king to b2. This is another very interesting moment of the game. Black to move, what would you do? Please pause again and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Paul Morphy sacrificed the bishop for the attack. C takes on b4. Rook takes on b4 check. What is the best square for the king? To avoid the checkmate, Henry Bird captured the rook with the queen. If king goes to c3, then queen to b3 checkmate. And what else? If king goes to c1, then a queen to a1 check, and after a king to c2, queen goes to what square? b2 checkmate. Back to our game. So, bird played queen takes rook, then we have queen takes queen check, king to c2. Black to move. What now? Morphy sacrificed the pawn in order to activate his light squared bishop. Bishop takes on e3. Bishop to f5 check. 
rook to d3. If bishop to d3 is played, then queen to c4 check. If king goes to d2, queen takes on d3. And if king goes to b2, bishop takes on d3. And black is winning in this variation too. Back to our game. So we have rook to d3, queen to c4 check, king to d2. Bishop takes on d3 doesn't work now. But what works then? Queen to a2 check, king to d1. Black played the move and white resigned. And the move is, what would you do? Queen to b1 check, white resigned. If king goes to d2, then the queen takes rook. And after rook to a3, queen takes on h2 and black is winning. And what else? If bishop goes to c1, then bishop takes on d3, bishop takes on d3, queen takes on d3 check. And after bishop to d2, queen to f3 check. And after king to c2, queen takes rook and black is winning. Wow, what a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.